Good evening everyone. I am currently driving south to North Carolina and as soon as it gets dark I will be heading out into the Hickory Neck Gorge in search of the rarest salamander in the state of North Carolina. So it should be interesting. This is a really unique species of climbing salamander. They are really similar to the more well-known green salamander but they are a bit different. So the weather is looking really good. We have some good fog. We had some good rains earlier, so it should make the rock formation really perfect for what I'm hoping to see tonight. But yeah, I'm going to drive down, and I will see you guys when it gets dark. And the first find of the night is this little crevice salamander here, or as some prefer to say, Bat Cave Yonalossi salamander. Now these are really similar to normal Yonalasi salamanders, but the main difference is they either typically have an extremely reduced or non-existent red stripe. And the red stripe in this little juvenile is almost practically non-existent. It just looks like a slimy salamander. But how you can tell them apart from slimy salamanders is their large size, obviously. They can get seven, eight inches in length as adults. They also have these little square toes that are a bit different from other plethodon. And they even look a little bit different from Yonalasi salamanders. They are very well adapted to climbing and living in these rock formations. Um, but typically, you will see a dark rusty brown to a maroon red pattern on the back. And that is typically either broken up or really just a narrow stripe in these crevice salamanders. But yeah, first salamander of the night, one of the endemic species here. These are only found in the Hickory Nut Gorge and nowhere else in the world. So they are definitely at risk, whether you consider them Yonalasi salamanders or a unique species. You can't argue that they need to be preserved. So yeah, I'm just going to keep on hiking this beautiful area and we will see what else we can find. And right here we have another juvenile crevice salamander. Now if you look closely, you can see the dark, kind of reddish brown stripe on this one. So really similar to a Yonalasi salamander, but quite a bit different. You see there's more white spots, and the stripe is really faded. This is a more typical juvenile for this species. They are associated with these granite and sometimes shell um, rock outcroppings here in the Hickory Neck Gorge. But yeah, better example of a juvenile crevice salamander. I'm going to keep on shining and hopefully we will see some big adults of this species because they are absolutely incredible. Right here we have a subadult crevice salamander. Now this is still not as big as they can get, but you see here the pattern is more what they would have as adults. You see it's not a full stripe, it's more just little blotches of red. And again, some of them almost look like slimy salamanders, but this is the most common pattern in these guys. Really unique, you see, other than the pattern, they are just built a bit different from Yonalasi salamanders. They are more flattened and adapted to living entirely in crevices up off the ground. And, you know, of course they'll go back in rocks too. But as far as habitat usage, what sets them apart from Yonalasi salamanders is Yonalasis are more associated with subterranean habitats, right? And, you know, cavities underneath rock piles and things like that. You know, they use burrows. So they're still rock crevice dwellers, but the crevices that the Yonalasis use are more underground whereas the habitat of the crevice salamander is above ground. So pretty different, but yeah, a nice sub-adult crevice salamander. Good to finally see one bigger than those hatchlings and yearlings that I had in my previous clips. But yeah, I'm just going to leave this guy on his rock formation here and we will see what else we can find. Okay, everyone, this right here is what I was hoping to see tonight. This is 
probably the rarest salamander in North Carolina and I would say up there with the rarest salamanders in the world. This is the Hickory Nut Gorge Green Salamander. Now upon first glance, these guys look like normal green salamanders, but they have not had contact with the more well-known lineage of green salamanders, Aeneides Aeneas, for millions of years, and they are a distinct species. One way you can tell them apart is, first of all, range, and second of all, they are more of a lemon-lime to almost a yellow color, whereas normal green salamanders are more of a true green. They also have longer limbs and overall just different body proportions. So yeah, really unique salamanders. These also prefer granite rocks over um, pure sandstone boulders like the normal green salamanders use. You want to avoid touching these guys as much as possible because they are a protected species. Um, they are at much at a much higher risk than normal green salamanders because again there is thought to be only a few hundred of these or less left in the wild nobody really knows as you can see this is a almost a yellowish coloration really similar to the green salamander but quite a bit different as well these are only the second member of their genus in the eastern United States. But yeah, I'm going to photograph this beautiful hickory nut gorge green salamander here. And if it will calm down, I'll get some more clips, but hopefully we will be seeing some more of these and some large crevice salamanders tonight. Okay, everyone, I finally got this hickory nut gorge green to Calm down just a little bit here for some up close footage. As you can see, absolutely gorgeous. Yellowish green coloration. Now, these and the regular green salamanders have this pattern to blend in with lichen on rocks and trees. These are flattened crevice dwellers and they spend the majority of their time in rock crevices. In this case, it is in these granite rock walls. Now on wet nights, these will actually come out and climb trees to hunt for insects and things. They are very arboreal. They have prehensile tails. And as you can see here, by their little square, sticky toes that will stop moving, these are excellent climbers. Um, they are from the genus Aeneides, which is the climbing salamanders. So. All of their relatives in the western United States are highly arboreal. Some live their entire lives in trees. You have the wandering salamanders that live in the redwood forest in California. The arboreal salamanders that live in rock crevices and trees and things. The whole genus is just really arboreal. Now that it has stopped moving here, if you look at these toes. Come on, focus. You can see that they are very adapted to climbing trees and rock walls. But yeah, I'm just going to leave this little guy to what it's doing here. You don't want to disturb these too much. And since they are a species of special concern, you always want to disinfect your gear and use good ethics before even entering their habitat. Because the entire range of these guys is restricted to just a few small areas here in the Hickory Nut Gorge of North Carolina, and they are not known to occur anywhere else in the world. So, definitely not doing as good as normal green salamanders, but yeah, I'm so excited to, come on, eat that. No, it's not going to. That would have been so awesome to catch, but to my knowledge, these have never been filmed before, so, um, this is probably the first footage of one of these on YouTube, but yeah, guys, it was no easy feat, but I'm just going to leave this individual on the rock wall here and quit blinding it with my spotlight, and we will see what else we can find. 
And right here we have another juvenile crevice salamander. This one has a little more pattern, almost looks like a normal Yonalasi salamander. You see here, it's almost a full stripe. But that might actually fade as this individual gets older. But yeah, I'm just going to leave it here on this rock wall and keep on shining for big adults. And right here we have the third species that I was hoping to see tonight. This is the Blue Ridge Gray-Cheeked Salamander. Now in a lot of ways these are similar. Now in a lot of ways these are similar to the northern gray-cheeked salamanders, the southern gray-cheeked, um, all of that whole complex, you know, the Jordan salamanders. But what sets these apart is they are much more habitat specific and they live almost entirely in rock crevices, whereas the other gray-cheeked salamanders, you know, just they're under rocks and logs on the forest floor and they really don't care as much. These are a bit different. They have more flattened bodies almost like the crevice salamanders and they spend a lot of time up off the ground in rock formations and living in crevices so really unique species this is actually my favorite member of the gray cheeked complex and ironically this one is sitting here on the ground but it is near a rock face here but it is on the forest floor but typically you know as far as flipping rocks and logs these guys are pretty hard to turn up. You usually just see them in crevices. And much like the crevice salamander and the hickory nut gorge green salamander, the Blue Ridge gray cheeked salamander is also endemic to the hickory nut gorge. So this is the only place in the world where you will see this exact species. Steve, oop, and it's gone. But yeah, another really cool endemic plethodon. Hopefully we will see some more of these on the way down the mountain and some big adults of the other species. But I'm going to keep on shining and we will see what else we can turn up.